The bride's compatibility with the Lord as an intercessor is essential because as such, she partners with him and must be one with him in order to do so. She is authorized like Esther to enter the courts of the king, the courts of heaven, and in the presence of Jesus, the eternal advocate, petition the king, who is the judge of all men and our heavenly father. Because she is intimate with the bridegroom and knows his heart, she can represent his will and sharing in his delegated authority, submit her case to the father on behalf of the one she's, she represents. She is truly one with her Lord, but she also shares this oneness with all others who make up the bridal company. And because of this is anointed to exercise a corporate authority with them. As she understands this, it enables her to enter the courts of heaven with increased confidence. This is happening in this time, the time that we're living in, for this is the season of her awakening. And because of the spiritual upgrade that the Father is providing for us in this reset or divine sealer, the experience of interceding in the courts and of petitioning the king will become more and more common as we partner with our advocate, our bridegroom, King Jesus. However, let me say again, that our privilege to intercede like this and accept such bridal assignments from the king is based not upon our ability, but purely upon our relationship with him, upon who we are and whose we are. We, the church bride, can even now, though still in our pre-raptured and pre-glorified state, experience the bridal authority in preparation for the days to come. We can accept this spiritual upgrade, not because of who we are in our own righteousness, but because of his grace. We need to come up a little higher, as in Revelation 4 verse 1. Not just to see those things that are to come, but also to position ourselves in better alignment with the Holy Spirit and take the higher ground so that by embracing our corporate bridal identity by faith now and beginning to walk in that new identity, we can begin to minister as his intercessory bride. As we do so, we will experience more of that authority which we will be fully understood when we become completely one with him at the marriage of the Lamb.